Hi, this is Amar from SSLclass.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on your website through the Crazy Domains hosting panel. So let's get started. As you can see we're on the Crazy Domains homepage here and the first thing we're going to do is generate a CSR or a certificate sign request. So Crazy Domains does not seem to have a CSR generated on their website. So we're going to move over to sslclass.com.au to this link, which will be provided in the description. You can come here and generate your CSR. So a brief introduction to a CSR. Uh, a CSR or customer sign request, request is uh, nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which contains all necessary information such as the domain name the, and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key, which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So we're gonna now move on to do this, and you can enter your domain name here, with or without the www. Yeah, depend your choice. Organization name, the name of your company. Organization unit, the division of your organization. I'm gonna go with IT for this video and your location where are you located your state and your country code and select your country from this drop down list and include your email here uh, root length the certificate length uh, 2048 bit is the industry standard so we're going to go with that and we're going to click on generate csr okay so now you can see a private key and your csr here so the best thing would be to copy the private key and the csr from the very start to the very end including all the dashes and save them in a text file right about here so that you can use this uh, in the future once you've lost this then you're gonna have lots of problems so copy and paste your csr and private key in a safe place and save it in a folder somewhere once we're done with that, I'm going to save this and we're going to move on to configuring our certificate. So now we're on the sslclass.com.au website and let's see a bunch of SSL certificates they have. So the cheapest one uh, that we're going to use for this video is the Sectical Positive SSL, I believe, which costs about uh, 10 bucks in a year. and can click on buy on any product uh, depends uh, they have lots of options available uh, like uh, wildcard certificates and multi-domain certificates organization validated you can go to lots of options depending on the need of your business as organization so it's like 10 point US dollars per year and you can check out fill in all your information here and you can pay by either one of these methods and you can click on complete order once you're done with that, you can head over to the dashboard. And this is the Sectical Positive SSL we've purchased for one year. And or you can go to the services, uh, more better. And you can head, come back to this page again. You can click on the manage button there. And we're going to click on submit certificate configuration. Okay, now we're going to scroll down. And we're going to copy and paste our certificate sign request as it is including all the dashes from the very start to the very end and we're going to paste it here once you're done with that click on verify csr and if your details pop up just about right then we're good good to go so we type uh, we're going to go with uh, it's, uh, other or you can select whm doesn't really matter then we can go with next step and input in all your details here and your first name, your last name, and your email address. And if you're the admin purchasing the certificate and have a technical contact doing the configuration for you, please make sure you include his or her details here too. Otherwise, we're going to use the admin details for this video. Now we're going to click on next step and now comes the important part for the domain control validation 
So there are three methods to validate your domain name. Domain control validation is basically how you prove to the certificate authority that um, you have complete access to your domain name and like you are the owner by verifying some records. So the first method is the email method and you need to have one of these five exact email addresses on your uh, domain name. You will be sent an email with a, a link in that and when you click on that your domain will be validated and you can download your certificate. The second method is the HTTP file method and you're gonna need to uh, access this file directory via FTP or SSH and create a file with this name, a text file. Once you create a file with this name, you will need to input these contents into that file and save it. And you can click on check the check file button here to see whether uh, your this whether this text uh, uh, record has been uh, validated by Sectica. And the third method or the easiest one for us which we're going to use is the CNAME record validation method. And what we can do is keep this page open, head back to crazy domains. And you're going to need to navigate to the account manager. Once you're here, we're going to click on web hosting. Now you can click on the control panel button here and you'll be taken over to your hosting manager main or the control panel. Now what we're going to do is click on domains and then we're going to go to advanced zone editor. Once you click on that, you'll be taken to the data settings of your website and click on CNAME. Uh, the name and the value we're going to use the name part. Go back to your certificate configuration, copy this exactly as it is and paste it in the name value here. The TTL or the time to load is going to be 3600, the default value. And the CNAME record is going to be this. So copy this from the very start to the very end and paste it here. Once you're done with that, click on add record. So the system has successfully added the record. You can go back to a certificate configuration and you can click on this check DNS record button here. And click on search. And it will take from a few minutes up to an hour depending on your hosting provider for the DNS record to propagate and your domain to be validated. In the meanwhile, you can move on and submit your configuration here. Okay, our configuration was a success. This is our order number. We are awaiting validation. We can click here to access the validation manager. Okay. This is domain control validation. And if you're not able to find this window, you can go back to the dashboard at SSO Trust. Go back, go to your product. And you can access the validation manager by clicking this button here. Or you can submit a new configuration if you like, like lost your private key and stuff. Now you can come back here and after a few minutes, keep checking it here and choose your method of validation, the C name, and you can click on submit. Otherwise, this is done automatically within a few minutes, so no need to worry there. So, I'll see you in a bit when the DNS record has propagated. Okay, so we're back after a few minutes and it looks like our DNS record has successfully propagated and our certificate has been issued. So, we're going to close this up, head over and collect or download our certificate. So you get uh, 30 days extra when you're purchasing from SSL Trust. You get a 30 days extra validity of your certificate. And now what we're going to do is download the certificate. Click on that and uh, then let's select the format as uh, C .crt files, which are zipped. We're going to click on download certificate. And we're going to save this file. Once you're done with that, we're going to open this file and extract the contents. We're going to copy and paste this in a file that we created. And this is our SSL file. We're going to go and paste it here before files. And the SSL info file contains our private key. So we could go. Now we're going to head over to the account manager and click on the control panel. 
and we're gonna head over to files and click on the file manager this is gonna load up with uh, fetching your old the directories and we're gonna move over to the SSL folder okay so now we're gonna move on to upload our certificate files and our private key to this uh, directory on our server we're gonna create a new folder called uploaded SSL files which will be created uh, under this folder this is a subfolder and we're gonna create uh, click on create new folder once you're done with that double click on this folder and click on the upload button here so once you're done with that click on the browse button here and navigate to the file you've uh, copied and pasted your certificate in or extracted your certificates to and we're gonna upload uh, certificate files one by one so browse click on upload browse again click on the second certificate the same goes for the third one and the root certificate too once you're done with that and you can now uh, the SSL info I uh, asked you guys to save before which should contain your private key from the very start to the very end including all the dashes and you can click on open and this file will be uploaded to this directory too so once you're done with that we're gonna close uh, go back to this uh, file manager and we're going to copy this path to this uh, file directory so that we can contact the support team and uh, and have them install our certificate. Crazy domains have uh, disabled the cPanel SSL module so that you are not manually able to install your own certificate but rather purchase overpriced SSL certificates from them and have them install it which will cost you a lot more money so i am going to show you guys how you can save some money while uh, successfully installing a certificate so stay with me here so we uh, once you've copied your file directory to your uploaded ssl files or whatever you've named this folder we're going to go to uh, the account manager and crazy domains account manager and we're going to click on contact Once you're done with that, scroll down, click on email, go to the server department, the server department guys, and click, uh, type the subject, certificate installation, and write a short message below explaining your file directory, where it is located, and what would you like them to do. So, sorry, uh, hi there. This is the directory to which I have uploaded all my SSL files and private key. And paste this that directory here. Dot scroll down, then please install. SSL certificate on my server website uh, practically it's a website it's a shared server so uh, depends on use case right you can write a short message here and we're gonna write, add a cheers and then right. and you can click on submit Once you've done that, you can send this to another department, which I don't recommend. But if you just want to get their attention, like, and have them reply to you a bit quicker, you can write certificate installation and paste that same very well message here. No, I have no I there. This is the directory I have uploaded all my. SSL files and private key two. Please install the SSL cert 
on my website X. and click on submit again so once you're done with this you should expect uh, a reply within uh, 4 to 24 hours depending on the uh, day what day it is and how how quick the support team responds and we hope that they respond soon and oh we can see an email out as mess email outage message so let's hope that they respond quick so we can have an SSL certificate installed on our website so let's check our website now https colon double slash sslguides.com.eu type in your domain name here and you can see that our connection to the site is not secure yet so uh, we're getting a 403 error so which should be resolved when the support team installs an SSL certificate on our website so till then I'm gonna stop this video and I'll get back to you when the certificate is installed okay so we're back after six hours and it looks like uh, we've got a uh, mail from the server department that our certificate has been installed so we'll check that HTTPS colon double slash ssrguides.com.au and uh, this forbidden messages uh, because we haven't put anything on the server yet so that's not an issue but we can see the site set uh, the site secure lock being displayed or our connection to this website is now super secure so if uh, you want to test your connection to the site how how well the certificate has been installed you can go to a website called ssllabs.com and copy your URL and test your service configuration here control V and submit I am going to clear the cache and run this test again so we're gonna wait a bit and we will see that uh, let's wait for this to finish So this will take about a minute okay so the test is done and we've got an e waiting for our website our server is super secure okay, everything looks good TL, the latest versions of TLS in it are enabled if you're on a VPS you might want to cross check this information otherwise if it is shared hosting the, uh, the server department and at crazy domains has done a good job so that's it for this video if you were easily able to install a certificate on your website please uh, consider uh, liking this video and subscribing and if you have any questions please let us know in the comments below that's it for this video so until next time